Sailor Ridge hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel i'm your host tariro if it's your first time here hello and welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in and for always supporting me so guys without wasting much of your time in today's video as you can tell from the title uh, it's a story time motivation hash inspiration i'll be telling you my story of how i got my driver's license from my learners to the driving license in less than one month i hope this will inspire someone but i'll do it as a story time because i see you guys are enjoying my story times okay so the, go the story goes like this so guys this is just a follow-up of my previous story times as you know or if you haven't watched please go and watch part one and part two of how i bought my first car so that you can relate you will understand where we are coming from so guys i'm telling you the truth i got my learner's license and my driver's license in less than one month okay let me tell you the reason why i was rushing Remember, I told you I wanted to buy a car. So to make life easier and for your things to flow, you must have a driver's license. For example, you need to sign some paperwork and they'll be requesting uh, the license number and stuff like that. So I needed to have a license because I knew if I waited longer or if I wasted time, maybe something was going to happen. I might have used the money or something. So I needed to do it as quickly as possible as I could. So... What I did was, um, I booked my, okay, so for you to reach the driving license, right, you must first do your learner's license. And this video is specifically based on South Africa, how we do it in South Africa. And it will also help a foreigner, a foreigner and maybe a South African citizen, you will know how to do it quicker and earlier. So guys, how I did it was, I booked, you know, these days you are booking online, so i booked for a date online for my learners so i generally to be honest i had been reading and practicing for my learner's license for a very very long time you have to download the k53 app on your mobile phone so i i already had that k53 on my mobile phone and i've been practicing and practicing and i've been doing it for a very very long time so basically i had an idea plus here and there uh, like I told you, my boyfriend had a car, so he would teach me to drive, so I knew the basics. So when I do the K53, it was very much easy. Then after that, um, so I had an idea, like I said, from the K53 app, and also my boyfriend was teaching me. So guys, you must have the K53 app on your phone. That's the first stage, because the K53 app, it will teach you the questions, it will give you the notes, and it will tell you the basics of what you need to know about having your learner's license. From my own experience, I think the learner's license is the most hardest part. Because guys, these days, you write learners online. You go to the center, and you write on the computer and stuff like that. And the computer will mark you immediately. So if you don't know, you don't know, and there's no escape way. You know, so I think the driving is better. The learners is hard because you have to read and know. But driving is a skill, so it's much easier. So guys, like I'm saying, to me, this is according to me, the learners is the most hardest because you have to read and understand. And if you don't know, you don't know. There's no escape because it will be sort of a multiple choice and you'll be logged onto a computer 
and you have to click the right answer and i think uh there are some sections you have to get 24 out of 25 then another one 27 out of 30 and stuff like that there are three different sections there are the road signs then the road rules then the other one i forgot you know but guys you must know and you know if you are not good at reading and understanding and knowing you will fail and it hurts because there's no negotiation there's no escape if you fail you fail and you have to repeat so guys i put my effort like i had been reading and reading and reading so the moment i realized that i was ready and i've i've now been passing on the k53 app because the k53 app right that's how the questions are you'll be feeding in the questions online that's the same way the difference is that you're now at the traffic department and you're just logged onto the computers so i think i was ready i gave myself um maybe two weeks of being serious on the k53 app then i was ready then i went to book you know with this online booking it depends where you are i was based in east london in the eastern cape so it's a very small town there was no competition the dates were always available so i managed to book myself a date so i booked myself a date and i went to write and by the special grace of god i passed my learners and you know how miraculous it was i was right on point for example the section which needed me to get 25 out of 25 i got the 25 out of 25 and the section which needed me to get maybe 27 out of 30 i was on right on dot 27 out of 30 so all my things were immediately on dot what they wanted by the special grace of god they passed so guys after my learners uh what happened was to save myself time i didn't want to wait so after boys, you know, getting dates, it's tougher and they are always fully booked. And I knew that I didn't have time. I'd only given myself one month to get the, the license. And after that one month, I wanted to go and buy myself a car. So what I did immediately after writing my learners and passing, I immediately went to book for a date for the driving license. Now it's the driving test. And I had not done yet any driving school. I just immediately went to book for a a date for dress so they gave me at the end of the month so i probably wrote around first or second of that month then i booked for driving test for the end of the month that's what i did then after that i got a date because i knew if i wait and start learning and then by the time i i will be good i might not get a date so after booking myself a date i then went to town and look for a driving school there are a lot of driving schools and these guys they want money you know then i told them i have your money in full and i want to be having two or three lessons per day because i told them i already have a date and i need to have a license by the end of this month because i really need to buy a car and i need this one so guys i found myself a driving school then at that driving school uh, i told them how urgent it was and how quick i wanted to get the license and i already told them that i booked already my date so i had to tell them that at least don't worry uh, i already have some driving skills in me literally i didn't really know how to drive but at least i knew the basics so the driving school was angry at me and they were like why did you book we will only be able to book after i've given you the go ahead to book and after we are satisfied that you can drive then i told them what's the difference because if i wait for you guys to tell me that i go and book time will be going what if i won't get a date you know so i just booked for the sake that i wanted to get a date which is closer and i told them i'll book 30 lessons and i'm sure by 30 lessons i'll be good and i'll really know how to drive that's how i did it so i booked for 30 lessons and i think i paid somewhere around 3800 rands. that was in 2022 so i don't know the prices of driving schools now but i just paid them at once and they gave me a discount and stuff like that so each lesson was one hour long and i did 30 lessons and I, some days i would do three lessons per day some days i would do two lessons per day so it was either i do it in the morning around eight to nine then i'll do it in the afternoon around 12 to then to 1 pm then sometimes if i had time i would do the lessons around um 4 to 5 p.m so it was either three times a day or it was um two times a day so literally i did my lessons all of them in two weeks and in those two weeks i was already good so i told the driver the driving school that you see if i had waited for you to give me the go ahead and if i had booked later 
obviously i was gonna struggle to get a date so that's how i managed to get my date quicker so after i finished my 30 lessons i was good guys i was ready to go then i went for my driving uh test and let me tell you for the driving test number one you have to pray number two believe in yourself because you know things can just happen for example you must not cross the white line but somehow the rules can just decide to do what they want to do then secondly your ancestors can just be against you on that day for example there's that hill start whatever you must not roll over the car can just decide to roll over so you have to pray god must be on your side then after that, uh, you just believe in yourself that you can do it. That's what I did. I believed in myself that I did it. And guys, guess what? Your girl got her license. I now have my license. And I got it on one go. I wrote my learners and passed it once. My driving lessons, I passed it once. Because I believed in myself and I believed I can do it. And I just told myself that, girl, you can do this within one month. So let me show you my, my license, guys. This is my license. Oh, let me show you. So that you see I'm not lying. I got this in less than a month. I just did my lessons over a period of two weeks. And I passed. It's two weeks because I was doing double or three lessons per day. But others, you prefer to prolong it. You do one lesson per week. Why the delay? If you have the money, go for it. Then I got my license. I passed. God was by my side. Then that's it guys that's my story that's how i did it so this is specifically to motivate someone that you need a license you can do this believe in yourself and also to the girl child a license is a need i believe every lady should be able to drive you need a driver's license why is it so imagine one day maybe you're married and the kids are sick your husband is not there but there's a car at the house who would take the kids to clinic who we'll take the kids to the hospital who we'll take the, the kids to school why would you have to wait for your husband to do that for you so this is for you girl child just get that license even if you don't need a car but you might even get a job whereby they will need you to have a driver's license you might even get a job whereby there's a, a driver a, a, a car a company car which needs you to drive and imagine you telling you don't have a, a, a license i just think a license is a need everyone should have a license boy or a girl whatever when you reach your 18 go and get that license what are you waiting for it's just a skill which is needed anyways guys thanks for watching till we meet again on our next video don't forget to like to subscribe and to comment thank you for always supporting me i love you i hope you're inspired